Lofting it in. The header from Mason. Aberdeen are ahead. The ball breaking off the wall. A delightful ball in there from Connor. Mason getting up there with Monroe. Woods was caught in no man's land. And that's what has given Aberdeen the lead. Paul Mason's seventh goal of the season. Woods came and stopped. Left himself stranded. And Mason took full advantage. Now Walters, Fergus has continued the run. McCoy also is up. And Grant has done a good job so far on Walters, slowing down his progress. And well, now back to Wilkins and Aberdeen now everyone back to face the ball. Walters will cross. McCoy's backing into Willie Miller. The referee has given a penalty kick. Well, that is quite remarkable. Quite remarkable. Let's see this again. The ball chipped in now watch McCoy backing in all the way to Willie Miller Miller trying to play the ball being pushed back all the time down goes McCoy and the referee sees that as a penalty kick the referee insisting that all players stay out of the box here goes Walters against Nevis Rangers are back in level terms here's Johnston then it goes to Stephen and a great save from Stelders. Brilliant build-up play from Rangers, and Theo Stelders brings off perhaps the best save of the match so far. Walters took it across, Johnston pushes it down for Stephen, and a great diving save from Stelders. Well, we've seen Ferguson's power many times before, he's going to have another goal, the wall will have to be brave. Tremendous let off for Aberdeen. Stelders couldn't hold it. The shot was so powerful. Well, that shows the power in the save. Van der Ark doing well in defence. And balls in the box again. Van der Ark defending. Ferguson forward. There's what Johnston. Here's Wilkins. And with Robertson out of position, Johnston goes right into that gap. Stephen is there. There's Trevor Stephen. With a great chance from a goal. Brilliant move from Ranger, the dummy from McCoy, set up in the call, but it's Snelders who saved the day for Aberdeen. That ball played in by Brett, up goes McLeish, Van der Ark's there, there's Nicholas, trying to turn, Van der Ark, and it's punched away by Woods. Fine goalkeeping there by Chris Woods, Charlie Nicholas can scarcely believe it. So just two minutes remaining in the first period of extra time as David Robertson launches the long throw into the box. Van der Ark got a touch, there's Nicholas. It's back to Mason! 2-1 to Aberdeen. Jockey Scott on the track. And the long throw did all the damage. David Robertson launching that ball and Van der Ark gets a vital touch on. Nicholas tees it up there for Mason. And he drills home the goal, which puts Aberdeen ahead. Great head flick on, great play here from Nicholas. Mason hovering, drilling the ball past Woods, who had no chance at all. Look ahead, it must be painful for golf at the moment. And Trevor Stephen trying to find room for a cross. David Robertson trying to deny that. Stephen forces it back to Gary Stevens. Ian Ferguson to McCoy. Fine effort, well saved by Snelders. Got some trouble. Here's jo Mo Johnston. Thought about a shot. And they like to be used Wilkins on the right. Here's McCoy. And Snelders pulls off the save of the match. And they're up with Goff. Nicholas goes in behind. Good control. May try this himself. Back it goes again to Mason. Down to Van der Ark. And a fine save from Woods. Well, Chris Woods emulating Theo Stelders at the other end. Tyler Nicholas here looking up, setting things up for Paul Mason. Now, I think this wasn't quite what Mason intended, but he made it into a good move eventually with a header on. Van der Ark with a shot well saved by Woods. Goes Butcher. There's Johnston. He couldn't get a touch. And 
There goes the final whistle. There's the Estelders. Rangers and lose the last part of extra time. It's Aberdeen the winners by two goals to one. 